Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're going to be jumping back into the world of Dead Space. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, we are gonna be continuing on in our journey of survival on the Ishimura as we continue on in the world of Dead Space. Now, the last time we played this, we played chapter seven, which was called Into the Void. And in that chapter, we had to do this insane mission where we had to launch an asteroid uh, and we had to launch an asteroid that had a beacon on it. You know, obviously we're stuck on this ship, the Ishimura, with all kinds of hellish looking creatures. And uh, we're just trying to survive. So now we've sent this beacon out. And we're gonna be starting chapter eight today, which is called Search and Rescue, um, which I'm really excited to see if we're gonna actually get some new people coming to the Ishimura? Are we gonna get some help? Uh, or maybe we are the search and rescue. Who knows, maybe that's just like a fun play on words and today instead, we're actually gonna be discovering new people on the ship as well. We've seen a lot of remnants of the old crew and some of them still seemed alive, but they just kind of were crazy. We, we saw that one guy who was like banging his head on the wall and all of that, but then he dropped dead and it was really scary. But anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and play chapter eight, search and rescue, which I'm excited to jump back in. I feel like now that we're like halfway past the halfway point of this game, we're gonna start rounding third base pretty soon and uh, and see what the end of Dead Space has for us, probably over the next four videos or whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and check that out. But before we do, I just wanna say, if you would, click like on this video, because that also helps the channel. And also, you can subscribe. If you're not already a part of the Let's Play Easy Mode community, then make sure to click that subscribe button, because we're building a pretty awesome community of game appreciators over here that leave really awesome comments and People are kind of building friendships and building each other up, and it's just a whole lot of fun over here. So make sure to click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to the channel. And if you want to dive in deeper with me, make sure to head on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. If you head on over to Patreon, you can sign up today for $5. $5 will get you early release access uh, to all the content that you see here on YouTube. And $10 a month will give you not only that, but also the exclusive content that's on Patreon that's just for Patreon eyes only. And we also need to say a special thank you to our patrons who are over there on Patreon right now. A uh, special thanks going out to these guys who are kind of making things happen over there at Patreon. They're supporting Let's Play Easy Mode every month and they're able to take advantage of the perks over there as well. Special thanks goes out to them. If you would like to join this list of patrons over at Patreon, then make sure to hop on over there today, sign on up and be a part of the Patreon community now. Without further ado, I gotta get myself like all prepped and ready for this. I have to like get into my own head and like motivate myself not to be too, too jump scared, but let's jump back into the world of Dead Space. Okay guys, we are getting ready to jump back into the world of Dead Space. We're gonna pick it up where we left off here. Chapter eight was called Search and Rescue. All right, what do we got for, okay. Things are looking up. A military ship just stalked in, Ooh. the USM Valor. Valor. I don't know what it was doing out there. It must have gotten our distress signal. That was quick. We can't talk to it until the comms array is fixed. I'm gonna hack the door to communications for you. Get in there and find the comms control station. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Pulse rounds, we can use those. We got some stuff. I mentioned this on our last episode, but usually these tramways, it always seems like you've hit like a safe spot where you know nothing's gonna jump out, you know? Like like whenever we end a level or we begin a level, you know, this is always that one spot that always seems safe. But I'm kind of waiting for the rug to get pulled out from under us. You know, like, like we're gonna hit this point where this is no longer gonna be a safe spot anymore.
Also, I wonder what other kind of nasty creatures we're gonna see as we keep getting into the, further into the second half of this game. Oh no, no, no. I don't even know what that is. Oh, there's a hole here and we can hear something, but that doesn't sound very promising. Okay, we have to go in that door, but we have a store. Let's go uh, shopping. Plasma cutter. Inventory, there's our safe. We discovered the safe not that long ago and I wish I had thought of it this whole time and known about it. There's our inventory right now, what we have. We have quite a bit. And that's stuff we can, can we sell that? Is that, I don't want, really want to sell anything. I do want to look at our inventory though really quickly. Um, just to see what we have. Um, we have a med, some med packs, which is good. Lots of med packs. Stasis pack, good, we can use that. Plasma energy. Blades. Pulse rounds, we have a lot of those. And that's good. Yep. Yep. I think we discovered that this gun really works kind of the best. But uh, we're gonna go with Old Faithful right now. Because I like how this takes things out the legs. Alright. I feel like we've been up here before. We have. Yeah, we've definitely... This... Whoa, what do we got here? Gotcha. 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 Ooh, okay. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, those things. Gotcha. 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 Have money. I took it. We need some. We need our med pack. More credits. Let's go over here. What do we got here? Pulse rounds. Woo! They got a little. Uh, things got a little crowded there. More credits. More. Uh, okay, let's let's get our ammo or our uh, health back up. Brought us up pretty high. Oh, we got a lot of money off these. These are rich, rich monsters. Uh, okay. going here. We got more. More money. We're going to be able to buy some stuff. Alright, we're going this way. Down there. Is there anything else here? If we weren't in this room, we were in a similar... Oh, a save station. Okay, that's right. Let's save our progress. All right. Uh, let's take that one. Are we gonna get?
get off. I know there's a Dead Space 2 and a Dead Space 3. I can't imagine they all take place on the Ishimura, right? Like, I mean, I imagine each one is just a different battle with these aliens. Like, we'll get off the Ishimura, but, you know, maybe we'll, uh... I think it's aiming up. Up. Okay. So we want to go up to level three. Isaac, the door to communications is open. But I've been getting some weird feedback spikes on the local comms. I think someone's listening in on us, so be careful. Well, don't we want someone to hear our cries? <laughs> you know, like... I mean, are we worried that they are like against us. I like having this ammo. I I wish we could save this whenever we wanted to. Oh well, there's a safe station. Is there another one? Yes, there is. Maybe we don't need to shoot that. Oh, yeah. Got you. Oh my god. Pulse rifle this thing. Man, those things are horrific creatures. Okay. Uh, save again. I guess. There we go. I look back here, by the way. I, you know, I know I, I in these videos I was watching myself here, and I was like, oh, I do turn this way a lot, and just. Uh, I'm not like leaving my attention uh, with the game. I'm not. I'm not like distracted. I, I just keep checking to make sure that our software on the computer is still recording and everything works. Because I hate to be in the middle of this. That's happened to me before, where I've been in the middle of something, and then I realize that like, oh, the computer crashed, and I haven't been recording anything for 20 minutes, and that's a really disheartening feeling. <laughs> I see you, I see you. There's something over here to get. I hate getting close to it though. Oh look, there's something over here too. Man. Horrific. Okay, we're back. Now that is locked. Yep, so we're gonna have to go over here. Can't open any of these things, right? Nope. I was just looking at those little, uh, those lights down there. I didn't know if they were. More things to, oh, oh, there's a guy. Maybe we're the search and rescue for him. 
Oh, man. How many of these people are we going to walk up on and they die right as we get there? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Got him. Nope. That is awful. Oh my. Guys, that was terrible. You uh you got this walking thing. And he's you know freaky, but it's not bad enough. Because then he turns into like a bunch of spider octopus things. Then you spend all kinds of ammo trying to take care of him. Oh, you know what? I need to. Uh... Is it? Is this what I need? Nope, that was not what I needed. Uh. How do I... That slows time. Nope, that's not what I needed. There we go, that's what I needed. Grab gun! Okay, that door's still locked. That does not, we don't have ammo for that. We're good with that. We're still good with that. We have a workbench. That's nice. And a safe station. Let's do the workbench. Uh, do we have anything at this point? Uh, we don't have any nodes, so we can't really upgrade anything. fine. I I would assume that this is one of those games that has like a new game plus like once you beat it. You know, once you beat it, you can go ahead and start over with all your upgrades, which would be awesome. Yep, going up. We need a store so we can buy some more ammo. Communications log. First comms operator Bailey reporting. The ship is under attack, but request to issue a distress call have been repeatedly denied by Captain Matthias. He won't say it, but everyone on the bridge knows why. This is an illegal operation in a prohibited system. Mm. We've all known for months, and we kept our mouths shut. Not anymore. Mayday! Mayday! Secrets. Mayday! This is USG Ishimura! This is... What the hell? Okay. I don't believe this. The whole comm system is offline. Now he's gone too far. Bailey out. Who's here? Nope, we're just going... Oh! Power node! Maybe we should go back over here and upgrade, right? Like, why not take advantage of that while we have it? Okay. Well, what do we want to work with? Pulse, I mean, our damage is not high on a lot of this stuff. Yeah, let's mess with the pulse rifle. Well, here's my question. Which one is the one... Hang on. That, okay. I keep mixing up the names of the weapons. Uh, okay, so that's a plasma cutter. 
And the damage on that is up. Let's bring the pulse rifle damage up. If it will let us. This, okay. Yep. I would like to bring that up. Okay. That's it. It's a slow crawl to get upgraded. You know? When you, when you can only use power nodes. It definitely is. Takes a little while to do it. That's why I'm kind of figuring that you wouldn't have to do it all again if you started over. I can still hear that whispering. I wonder if, if that is us going crazy. Like, are those whispers actually happening, or is it getting into our head that we're here? All right, we may have to shoot something. This angle's kind of freaky. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like something's gonna jump something. <laughs> Jumping out, something's gonna jump out. You better believe it. That was like a scary carnival ride. All right, so. Communications array offline. A service technician has been notified. That comms array is in bad shape. We need at least six working dishes for a strong enough signal. Six. Make sure they're aligned symmetrically so there are no power gaps. Got a schematic. <laughs> Line racks. So I guess I need. Oh, there's a save station. At least it does offer you that option quite frequently. I am all about saving. That's one thing I've learned on this channel. Save, save, save. Uh, I'm imagining we gotta hit this. Well, we'll to, okay, yep, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've gotta turn all those back on. This could be a pretty lengthy chapter, actually. Lockers, that's got stuff. Gonna have to shoot something in here though. I heard some dissonant noise. Ripper blades. Okay. Inventory full. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's bring up and make our health go up anyway with uh, I'll do two there and hopefully that will free up there we go there What do we have here? Oh, another power node. Nice. More upgrading. This way. Ah, here we go. What's going to be there? What's going to be there? I like those pulse rockets. Oh. Entering zero gravity. Exiting zero gravity. Entering zero. Exiting zero gravity. Bring it. Stand right here while that thing comes over at me. Hear it. Entering 
Entering zero gravity. Something's down there. Where are you? Terrible time to have an itchy nose. There was something crawling around. It's gonna go down. I did it. More credit. More line racks. I think that's it. Oh, that's trippy. More money. Oh, maybe everything we have that we need, we can do right here. That's where we just came in. Let's go hit that. Can I get that? Can I shoot it? Yeah. So, let's see. Over here, okay. I can see, yep, we're, we have this is a satellite. Going this way. Uh, maybe I need to go there. No. I'm thinking that these are where I need to yeah this is where I need to turn stuff on but I don't know how to do it this looks like it needs repairing see oh grip enabled wait 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 do I bring it over here thinking do I bring it over here it looks like this needs to be have something plugged in Did that turn it on no I guess not I gotta be careful because my stasis is already almost gone though I gotta think for something like this I bet there's a stasis charger kicking around here. Okay, so that's on. That's working. Yes, yeah, okay. So, that's working, that's working. Where's the one over here? How do I don't know? It's all broken up, so it doesn't look like something I can fix. But do maybe I need to replace? Oh, I bet I need to look at this map. Let's see where I'm at now. If I'm in the center, over here. 
Okay, let's do that. I'm in the center. I need... That's on. Oh, I see. Only... It's probably telling me that just these ones are working. What do, what do I need to do? What's it actually telling me? Somehow... Okay, fix the array. Wait, contact... Oh, I'm not there yet. Okay, so fix the array. The communication dishes have taken some damage. I need to swap out the broken dishes and create a circle of working ones that should align the signal and allow us to transmit to the ship. Okay. So these are my working ones, and I need to create a circle. So I need to take the three outer ones, like that one over here, and I need to move that closer. So let's go. And I bet, knowing this game, what I've known so far, what I've seen, is every single time I pop in a new one, it's probably going to have enemies coming at me. I need stasis. Uh, I hope that there's a stasis recharger. There, goodbye. Bad guy? It's almost always a bad guy. Now I need the bring. I need. There should be another working one. sense of 
I was gonna say false sense of security. I don't think it's possible to have one of those anymore in this game. All right, here we go. Yep, we gotta hit that. That's gonna be the good thing that we do. Let's save it really quickly before we do, though. Okay. All right, guys, here we are. Just gotta do a little thing here. That's gonna attract that, guys. This is USM Valor, wide casting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura mm -hmm. in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod, number 47, and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. We need to respond. What? Isn't that the escape pod Hammond jettisoned? One of those things was on board. Uh oh. No. No, this isn't going to happen. USM Valor, come in, Valor. Our signal isn't strong enough. I'm going to open the blast doors to boost the signal. Error. Blast door blockage detected. Of course. Please contact a repair technician. Shit. Isaac, there's something big on the hull of the ship, directly above the comms array. Something organic. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. We have to get the doors open to transmit to the Valor. You should have a clear shot from ADS Cannon 48. Get to the cannon and okay. blow it out into space. Oh. I was thinking we were going to have a big boss fight. I mean, maybe we still will, but it sounds like we get to uh, shoot a big cannon instead. All right. It's going to be jumping. I'm ready for whatever comes. I think. Here we go. Okay. It jumped out, but we ran over it. Okay. All right, guys, we've, uh, Got a stasis pack. That's nice. Hate that sound. Plop, 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 plop. Actually, we got a. Did we get another power node? I think we can actually use that to upgrade right here. Yep. See that? Nice. Uh, okay. Plasma cutter, line gun, the ripper, we don't really have. I, I do think hit points. Air would be nice. Stasis module. Oh, yeah. Let's upgrade that. We've only got one, but uh, you will upgrade your duration by two points. Energy by 20. I mean, all of that be great but again it takes so it's kind of not disheartening but it, it's kind of tough when you have to spend a whole node just in like a big empty space you know um, it's like I want to just use it to actually upgrade my points and get something for each power save it again hmm all right Moving on, our, so our next thing is we need to get to that big cannon because, there we go, use the ADS cannon to clear the blast doors. Signal still isn't strong enough and Kendra needs the blast doors open above the comms array. Something big is sitting right on top of them. That might be kind of fun if we get to, you know, just 
shoot a cannon at it. No doubt some kind of necromorph. How do we even know what these things are called at this point? If I can get to one of the ADS turrets, I hopefully can blast it off into space. Good, that's good. All right, let's keep moving on. That, that was the comms array. All right, now this is to the cannon. Yep, cargo lift. And here we go. I hope those guys can make it here. I hope we can get the signal out to them. Hmm. It's a little too calm. We need them. Well, I'm not sure we have anything we want to drop at this point. How do I? Oh, you know, I bet I need to increase the rig, uh, upgrade the rig for uh, inventory. Ripper blades. I ought to put the ripper blades in. Oh, medium air can. Bring the schematic to the store. We need to get to a store, that's what it is. Cause I need to also put those ripper blades, I think, in, um, or I wanna put them in storage. That guy, anywhere? Oh, power node. Save station. Plenty of those around. It's kind of funny that there's so many of these uh, save stations around, but yet, like, I mean, we can literally save like every two minutes practically, uh, but then it just doesn't offer you the chance to just, you know, hit save from the menu. Oh, hi there.
space? That's gonna freak some ass. Kendra Daniels on USG Ishimura. Come in. Do not open the escape pod. USM Valor, this is Kendra Daniels on USG Ishimura. Come in. Do not open the escape pod. Damn it! I just want to sit here and keep shooting stuff. Uh, oh, that's not good. Why did they open the pod? Damn it. That was all our help right there. I was hoping I could blow it up. Maybe I should have been trying. It seemed like a, a story point, though. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Isaac, are you there? Thank God you're all right. I've been trying to reach you. Someone's been blocking my rig signal remotely. <laughs> a crash must have interrupted the signal block. Hammond? Where have you been? <laughs> Surviving. Barely. I found some med supplies and cracked myself off. Listen. I'm calling a board on the mission. Fuck the CEC and fuck the chain of command. We have to get the hell out of here. Isn't that what we I were trying to do? I think shuttle on the crew deck. The flight log says it needs a new singularity core, but we can probably salvage one from the Valor. I can see the tail end of it sticking out from the side of the Ishimura. I'm headed down there now to find a way inside. I'll meet you there. Come and out. Isaac, if what he says is true about the shuttle, we might have a chance of getting out of here. Okay. Head to the cargo bay and see if you can help Hammond. Done. In his condition, he may not last long. All right. Well. Let's go. Ah, the earliest one. This is really intense, guys. This is super intense. Uh, okay, it's our inventory. Go to the cargo deck. The military ship they slammed into the Ishimura. Maybe some of the Marines are still alive and can help, but somehow I doubt it. Hammond says he found a shuttle on the crew deck. I need to salvage a singularity core out of the military ship to repair the. Pardon me. To repair the shuttle. Uh, there is still uh, hope, slim though it may be. Alright, I'm a I'm not just a half glass full guy. I like to think that the glass can be overflowing. So look at that. We got stuff. There's more. Here. I shoot you. I get oh, I wasted my bullets on that. Okay. Here we go. Through there. Let's go. So it sounds like we need to get that crashed ship and then we can see if we can rescue anyone which hopefully we can it would be awesome if we had some new people that could help out but I agree with Hammond it's you know I mean if I, I would assume by now that the mission is to get off anyway he was acting like, hey, I'm canceling things. I was like, no, duh. Something popping out. Something's out there. I see you. Oh, it wants him. What? Is someone in oh, it's in here. Oh, my. Okay. Can I... Oh, there you are! It made it through. I think there's gonna be another one here. What is that? 
Oh, that's a, a head with tentacles. That's normal. Uh, okay, let's move. Let's try it that way. Oh yeah, those guys. Save station again. A lot of them. Well, we'll take it. There's a lot of save stations, but we will take it. Keep our progress moving forward. Straight that way. Anything else coming at us? Um, wait. A level two, I guess, right? This level, the bottom level isn't. Doesn't look like we can go there. I don't like that. Why does it sound like there's a space whale? Yeah, nope. Nope. I'll stay right here in the elevator. Thank you. What is that? Guys, what is that? I don't like it. I'm scared. I don't like it. Go run out! Oh! That thing! With all the octopuses! Making me use up my, my ammo here. I got more pulse rounds. Oh, I got more credits to buy pulse rounds. That's good. Back to this, I guess. Oh, look, maybe there's pulse rounds in here. Pulse rounds! All right, let's see. Uh, oh, the mar the large pack is nice. Are there? So if I go over here, uh, will I find more? Oh, look at that! Ripper blades. This way. Whew. Here we go. Store. Oh, we have that schematic we can use. Medium air can. Okay. Would like uh, to go to the safe. Okay, inventory. I have ripper blades, and I haven't really been using them as much. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move, 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 and then I'm gonna move. Uh, is this meant just to sell rare sell at the store for credits? Great. Okay. Nice. Let's get more ammo. Um get some pulse rounds. And we can get some plasma. Yep. More pulse rounds. Okay. Let's see how we're looking. Dang it. 
Dang it, I'm going more. We can afford it. We need we need the ammo. That brings it up to a hundred. Uh, and then, oops. Yes. And how are we looking on plasma? Okay, you can hold 25. Let's get a few more. Let's stack up. be enough I just really like that uh, th these two guns I feel like oh look at that bad guy he went down fast something's there see it that's just a game thing. Let's not take a chance. Oh. Here we go. We're back on the What? Back on the tram already? Was that the end? No way! Okay! I thought we were gonna have more to do, but I guess getting to the crash ship, um, it was, was gonna be safe for next game. Save your progress, yes. All right, guys, well, that's gonna complete this episode. We've beat Search and Rescue, Chapter 8. Let me see what the next one is. There we go. Okay, Chapter 9, Dead on Arrival. I have a feeling that's foreshadowing, right? As far as uh, hopefully, you know, there's some survivors, but I feel like by the title that tells us that there are no survivors. But we'll find out the next time we play this. Uh, this was fun. That went by really quickly. At least it felt that way to me anyway. But that's going to conclude this episode. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Like I said before, I think that went by pretty quickly, actually. And maybe it's just I feel like I've kind of got the hang of this game now. Uh, for the most part, we actually figured out the, kind of the, the puzzle of what we needed to do with the satellite dish, and then we reached out to our search and rescue ship, but unfortunately, uh, they opened up the pod, and something got on board and killed everybody, or at least, at least caused them to crash. And now, in our next chapter, we're going to go ahead and find out if there's any survivors of that rescue ship, and uh, if there are, maybe they'll join our team. Though I have a bad feeling by the sound of the title, uh, Dead on Arrival, that means there's probably nobody there that we're actually going to be able to save. But we'll find out the next time that we pick up Dead Space and play it. Uh, so far, guys, I got to say, I'm really enjoying the game now. I feel like I'm finally getting into my stride. It would figure that I've got to get like three quarters of the way through it, but I'm really enjoying it. And I'm kind of curious to see, are we going to get off the Ishimura? I got to think we are. And then maybe Dead Space 2 is something where we have to either go back to it or we have to go to a different place where we've heard uh, there's like these aliens and all this stuff or monsters, whatever it may be. I'm still not entirely sure what's caused all of this, though I get the impression it's some sort of experiments or whatever. But then there's all the whispering too, which makes me think that there's something more supernatural involved in this. I've got some research to do after what we're done with this playthrough if it doesn't answer my questions by the end. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, again, please click like on this video because that really does help the channel. And it lets other people on YouTube know uh, that this might be a video that they would enjoy as well. And if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, and join the Let's Play Easy Mode community. And also, if you want to dive in a little deeper with me, don't forget to go check out the Let's Play Easy Mode Patreon page by going to this address right 
here and uh, you can sign up for five dollars a month to get early release access to all of these videos ten dollars a month uh, to get exclusive content as well and once again i do just want to say a special thank you to our patrons who are over there right now making it all happen at the patreon page anyway i love you guys thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me while i play games i love video games i love playing video games with you I actually, even though I get scared to death, I do enjoy these horror video games like Dead Space, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how we get off the Ishimura, and uh, actually if we have any survivors on this crashed ship, so we'll get into that next time. Love you guys, I will talk to you again, but until then, take it easy.